last time that I did a tag video. I seriously cannot think of it. I've been sitting here and trying and trying, but I can't. Tag videos are one of my favorite things to do. So a huge thank you goes out to my friend Hope from Beauty and Bliss 67 for tagging me to do the behind the scenes tag. If you guys want to check out Hope's channel, it'll be linked right down below for you as well as everyone else that I tag. But I loved the idea of doing this because if you guys have had any questions about what I film with, what lighting I use, what I edit with, everything like that, this will cover all of those questions for you. Question number one is what camera do you use? Now I use the Canon EOS 70D and this was the biggest investment that I've ever made and I think that was about a year and a half ago. I purchased it after having trouble with the Canon EOS Rebel and yeah I had a lot of issues with that one and thankfully with this baby, this is like my baby seriously, I haven't had any issues. It's been fantastic and I also use it for all of my first impression photos over on Instagram so it takes great photos and videos videos and I'm just so happy with it. Question number two is who films for you? Now as much as I would like to have a super interesting answer, the answer is me. <laughs> I just got a tripod and my camera and it's just me, myself, and I. Number three is what editing software do you use? And I use Final Cut Pro 10. I recently upgraded to that. I say recently, but it's probably been about six months or so. And before that I was using iMovie. I liked iMovie, but I did upgrade just for more text options and more options altogether and I'm super happy with Final Cut Pro. Question number four is do you use natural or artificial lighting? I do use artificial lighting and I look around because I do have quite a few lights. As much as I would love to use natural lighting, I just can't in my filming space. There's not a window in front of me. I do have an It's Judy Time kit though of lights from dvestore.com and if you want to see that exact one, the link will be down below. But it is the four piece kit which comes with three of kind of like smaller circle lights and then one ring light which I have behind my camera. It was another investment, but I am really happy with it. I'm still playing with my lighting though and trying to get it perfect, but so far so good. I laugh at question number five because it is what is the top item on your filming wish list? And mine has been a new lens for as long as I can remember. That's really the one thing that I haven't upgraded since starting this channel. So I'm definitely looking into that. There is a store around me that lets you rent them, which I am so excited for because I'm going to be renting out and trying a few before I buy. But yes, a lens is hopefully in my near future. Question number six is what is your favorite day of the week to film? Now I, in the fall, this will change because I'm going to actually have two full days during the week to do YouTube stuff and I'm so excited. So yeah, that'll start in about late August, September when my cousins go back to school. Um, but for now I just film strictly on the weekends. So Saturday and Sunday are my filming days. Usually one of those days I'll sleep in and then one of them I'll get up super early and just knock out some videos. Number seven is do you plan your videos? And if so, how? Now I'm really taking this question as like when I know what video that I'm going to do, do I plan it out? And the answer is yes, because I feel like it gets my thoughts in the right place when I do have like a checklist of items that I want to cover in a video. Now granted I don't do this for every single video like today I don't have any plan for this but if I'm doing like a review or something that has a lot of info I definitely jot down some notes. Question number eight is how long does it take you to film? Now this is another one that varies. It varies pretty much because it depends on the video. It depends on if I can get my words out of my mouth in a timely manner. Something like this like a tag or a haul doesn't take forever. I would say those are probably the shortest between like 30 minutes and an hour from the time I turn on my camera to when I turn it off. And then a step up from that would probably be first impressions and then my longest video to film could possibly be my beauty subscription showdowns just because the more product shots you have, the longer it takes because I got to sit down, film the video, and then I got to film all of the product shots. So yeah, I would say the shortest is probably 30 minutes and the longest time I take to film would probably be like an hour and a half. Number nine is how long do you normally take to edit a video? Now editing for me has gotten quite quick lately um, just because I'm really getting used to Final Cut Pro and everything like that. I would say I could take probably between 30 30 minutes to an hour to edit a video. Now that's just a rough estimate and like I keep saying it really depends on the video. The more product shots that I got to put in the editing stuff, you know, that takes longer. But if it's something like this, which is kind of straightforward, I can do it pretty darn quickly. Question number 10 is what is your favorite kind of video to film? And I love tags. Those are probably my favorite and I always will remember the lipstick tag because I had so much fun doing that one. That was a really old video though, but I also love hauls. 
tags and hauls. Those are my thing. Don't get me wrong, I love my first impressions. I love my reviews as well, but there's just something about a spontaneous tag or haul that I just can't get enough of sometimes. Question number 11 is, does your school or work know about your channel? And they do. I'm not in school right now, but I do have a place of work where my dad works too. So obviously we're kind of all in the loop. YouTube though has never been something that I've hid. I started it in college. I think I was like in my first or second year of college when I started my channel. So I could see like being a little hesitant if you're like in high school or something, but no, I was super open about it. My parents knew right away. My boyfriend knew right away like the day I posted the video. And I guess it's just been history ever since. Number 12 is what is your process of thinking of a video idea? Now I really wish I had a better answer for you guys because this makes me feel like I don't have super creative videos and I hate that. That's definitely something that I want to work on in the future, but really my process of thinking is very simple. For me, I'll just pick up a product, like a new one and be like, oh, I can do a first impression. Or I'm like liking something a lot and I'm like, oh, I can do a review. I mean, or really it's just like my beauty unboxings and stuff that don't take a lot of thinking because I know those are videos I do every single month. Question number 13 is, do you feel awkward filming around people? Now this doesn't happen very often just because I'm always in my house and usually Jerome is over there. So yeah, hey, um, it's not super awkward <laughs> filming around him anymore. It was in the beginning because he would just laugh and then I would laugh because it was kind of awkward, but now we're just kind of past that. But really other than him, it's just usually Bogey or Lily. So there you go. <laughs> Question number 14 is, do you have a YouTube friend that you like to play in videos with? And right now the answer is no. Like I didn't even know people did that. I mean, I understand collaborations and I've done a few of those before, but really like planning videos like for what your separate channels together I guess that could be a thing but I don't really have any YouTube friends around me hope is definitely one of them and probably is the closest to me I mean we're kind of like one state away I don't know though I've never really planned or brainstormed with another YouTuber before but now that I think of it that might be kind of fun really the last question for this tag is number 15 and that is what is your subscriber goal for the end of the year I don't have one <laughs> how do you guys like that answer I'm being dead serious because when it comes to my channel I feel like before in the past I could get so caught up in that subscriber count obviously I love seeing my channel grow but you know as I've kind of grown as a youtuber over these last few years I've realized that just creating videos that I like like that's the only thing that matters if people come across my channel and like what they see and they want to subscribe that's just another bonus for me and really personally I just feel like if I create videos that I love that should be the focus of my channel like if I do that I'm happy no matter what the subscriber count is and then 16 is just who I tag so like I said that list of beautiful people will be in the description box for you guys but I hope you enjoyed kind of the behind the scenes look at what my channel is all about which question was your favorite what answer of mine surprised you the most I would absolutely love to know your answers to those two questions down below in a comment and also give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it as always guys have a wonderful wonderful day thank you so much for watching and I'll be sure to see you in my next video